course, agree that um, I think we're all in agreement that the UNCLC should go beyond what it, or we should go beyond what the UNCLC proposes. But I think we would disagree on the, on the fundamental point that taking this into law would just would just give a benchmark that's far too that's far too far back from what we need to do. We need to move forward. We should be spending our time enforcing our the laws we've already got in um, in terms of children's rights, rather than taking on something else that would actually lower the benchmark and lower what we need to achieve. Okay, yeah, just two quick uh, end points. Uh, I do not think that there's anybody here today who would not agree that children's rights are that in themselves a matter affecting the child. As such, if we are to be true to the values and principles of Article 12, then it must surely be incumbent upon us to first of all listen to children's own views about what additionally rights they feel are important to them, especially in including those that are given no expression or insufficient expression under the UNCRC. Finally, if people, <coughs> genuinely, if people genuinely feel that UNCRC, as it is now, is the very best that we can do or should aspire to do for children's rights in the UK, then you must of course vote for the motion. But if like me, and my uh, very worthy colleagues on this side of the, the argument, think that we owe it to our children to be more ambitious than that, then I would urge you to vote against. <laughs>